Christy with Sensible Nutrition. So when it comes to preparing foods for the holidays, food safety is the most important ingredient. So today I'm going to give you some simple food safety advice to keep you and your guests feeling festive this holiday season. Cookies are a holiday favorite, and now is a good time to remember that ready-to-cook foods of all kinds, including raw packaged cookie dough, need to be cooked. Eating these kinds of foods right out of the package without cooking them can make you sick from bacteria. Cooking them according to the package directions before you eat them kills bacteria that could make you sick. Make sure that you have plenty of room in your fridge and freezer to properly store your cold foods. Your fridge needs to be set at or below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If you are bringing a dish to a get together, make sure that you are safely transporting your food. You need to keep your cold foods cold and your hot foods hot. So keep your cold dishes cold by placing them in a cooler to keep them at or below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to keep your hot dishes at or above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you are traveling a short distance, you can wrap them in an insulated bag, newspapers, or towels. If you are traveling a long distance, you want to make arrangements to reheat or cook your hot dish when you arrive at your destination. And make sure to keep that dish chilled while traveling. If you're going to be leaving food sitting out for a while at your get-togethers, again, you want to make sure that you're keeping your hot foods hot and cold foods cold. So your cold foods can be placed in a large dish of ice or a cake pan full of ice or a dish like this that ice goes down in the bottom to keep them chilled. You can place your hot dishes in a crock pot, a chafing dish, or a warming tray to keep them hot. If you are providing a meal, keep your hot foods in the oven and cold foods in the fridge until just prior to serving. Foods like cookies, crackers, and whole fruits are okay to sit out during your get-togethers. Always make sure to use a food thermometer to check the internal temperature of your holiday dishes. Make sure that those dishes have reached the proper internal temperature. And to find out more information on those proper internal temperatures, you can go to foodsafety.gov. Having a foodborne illness is not a pleasant way to spend your holidays, so make sure to follow the tips I have provided and have a safe and happy holiday.